I knew Rick for many years, um, going back to the early days of the first version of um, what we now call Connection, Artist Run Centre, was Gallery Connection in the day. A bunch of us were looking for studio space and struggling and teamed together to try and find like a warehouse or a place and then Rick got this idea that we would run a gallery and there would be artist studios um, connected to the gallery which was really a new uh, scene. It was really, really, um, really influential in Fredericton when it did all come together. He um, was really really involved in art making in the art world. He lived and breathed for, you know, learning about new work, um, keeping up with what was going on, not only locally but nationally and internationally, getting really excited about artists that he came across and he, we loved to share things that we were both looking at or share things for each other like, you know, I saw this for you, what do you think about this? He was fully immersed in his studio and his making and his teaching and all this community uh, work that he did and, he, and his work was so beautiful and so eloquent and so much beautiful poetic space in it and it, it just it was so rich and he was serious about his work but he was also really fun and mischievous as a friend and a person. The sense of like being in the know of what was going on was really fun for him. So if he had something to share, um, he would come find you. I can remember the sound of his wheelchair coming down the hall and he would come in and be, do you have a second? And they go, this is what I just heard or something. And that was super fun, really good times.